Hello, my name is Derek Franklin and I'm an applications engineer here at Go Engineer. In this quick tip video, I'm going to demonstrate how SOLIDWORKS flow simulation data can be transferred into SOLIDWORKS simulation for finite element static analysis. We can create a flow simulation study and run it, and then the results can be used as loading conditions inside of SOLIDWORKS simulation. So you can see I have here on the screen uh, a flow simulation study that I've already run on a billboard here. And you're looking at a, a cut plot uh, of the velocity uh, results. And again, what I want to do is be able to export these results to be used as loading conditions inside of SOLIDWORKS simulation. So let's see how this is done. So we can go up to the flow simulation command, go to tools, and then click on export results to simulation. From this point, I can go ahead and create my static study. So go to my simulations command manager and select new study and select static as the option and I'll have my new study. To import the loads from the SOLIDWORKS flow simulation you right click on the study and go to properties click on the flow thermal effects tab and under the fluid pressure option you can click the checkbox next to include fluid pressure effects from SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. Then you can click on the browse button to browse to the SOLIDWORKS flow simulation results file. So just select that and say open and then click OK. And now we can see in our static study tree over here the loads that were brought over from the flow simulation study. And at this point we could go ahead and continue to add any additional restraints that we needed to for the static study as well as any materials for the components within the study. So there you have it, a way to be able to export results to SOLIDWORKS simulation for linear static analysis. From here we can further evaluate the response of our structures. Thanks for watching and have a great day.